This day has finally come. That's right. The day when you and I will finally meet. I was always thinking of you here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. I know you're the one I've been waiting for. And haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. I want to give you my prize doll I made to commemorate our meeting. The start of this everlasting love. I can already see your smiling face. The organization has shut me up in here. I need to break my will. To make me forget about all of that. But I'll stay sane. Even if they throw me in here with lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? With that junk, those nasty wenches won't stop using. If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all. Just as you exist for me. But why haven't you taken my doll with you? <sighs> my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. You may not yet have realized your own true feelings. But you sense them unconsciously. And so, you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue. The path to paradise. If the door's locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor... I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here, too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough. But he kept on going. Isn't it a shame? I'm not there. Aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. You too? There was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Oh, uh, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own? On my chest, since I can't cut it open to show you my heart. I love Heather. No. Something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what tender emotion this image brings. Flowing freely your ebony hair. Like the night sky, scattering fragrance. My heart, clamoring in my chest. Like a storm, you trifle with it. Your pristine glance, like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturbed, my breath like opium. It drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. Should never have gone crazy. But it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. 
But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Heather, my most sacred lover, I'm always watching you. No matter where you are or what you may be doing, I have never lost sight of you. I know you feel intensely lonely. Yet, with a single key to this door, those feelings won't stand in the way any longer. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient. It's just a little longer. I'll be patient too, even though I long to hold you in these hands of mine. The key is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? That's that idiot doctor. There's not a single person here who's right in the head. Not just in this hospital. I mean, in all of Silent Hill. Except me. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone more beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day, for today, the day I'd see you, the day you'd save me, today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Goddess, Heather, my lover, Heather.